The Living World Season 3, Episode 1, Out of the Shadows, Research and Rata Novas. Now we head to Rata Soon. And we search for the adventure aid. Who is right there? I fought for you. You certainly know how to reassure a One second, please. Security breach detected. Gollum, what are you doing? Responding with full force. No, oh. this is not happening. Stop! Oh. Hold! There's Cease! Power. This is... An unidentified intruder was... Getting help. old tech spins overstimulated by the influx of magic. Glad you're here. Oh, yeah, I got your letter. Funny, I also sent one to this guy, but he barely made it. Your note failed to mention how to navigate this Asuran playground. He got lost trying to find the lab. I had to follow the non-stop stream of char expletives to track him down. City of the future, my tail. It's good to see you. I was so happy when I saw your mission was a success. But then I heard about Marshal Traherne. He saved us all. His sacrifice won't soon be forgotten. But there's good news, too. Ritlock says we're starting a new guild. So exciting! Glad you're on board. Of course you are! Someone has to be the brains! Haha, <laughs> kidding. In all seriousness, though, I suspect some of the things I'm working on in this place will come in very handy. How have you been doing here? Great! It's fantastic! Well, it was before every Asura and their Grand Mentor showed up. At least you have a lot of hands to pitch in at the Dragon Lab. What do you mean, Commander? I've never heard of this room you describe. Keep it down about the Dragon Lab. I don't want anyone finding out about it. Especially... Hello, progeny. Counselor Flood, how lovely to see you! I'm so pleased you didn't end up on a Chalk's breakfast menu this morning. Uh, you can stow the dim insults. They'll never be clever enough to wound me. Now, have there been any new developments today? Why, none that I can think of. Allow me to warn you about keeping secrets from me, progeny. My wrath is as fierce as my intellect. Oh, that sounds terrifying. I wouldn't dream of hiding something from you, Counselor. Hmm. Totally hiding something from him. Let's head there now, but not the way you know. We're going through the gate. I've configured it to appear as if we're going to the command center, but we're really going to you know where. Except there's a catch. You have to outsmart the security measures. You're joking, right? Not this time. Give it a shot and I'll observe. See if you can crack the code. I'll give you a hint. Do exactly as you're told. Well, no, 
Unidentified user. Security measures activated. you through that. I need to keep people who may or may not be named Blunt out of here. Now that the subterfuge is out of the way, can we get to what you called us here for? Yes, this is a replica of the ley line energy map we found outside of Tarir. I've been tracking the movement of magic since Mordramoth's death. It's been in total chaotic flux. Here, there, everywhere. See, that dot is the egg chamber. It lit up like a Lunar New Year firework after the dragon went bye-bye. But as you can see here, the egg's doing great. What are we looking at? A feed of the egg chamber? Yeah, the Exalted and the Rada Novans shared a ton of information. They must have helped them design their security system. And then you broke into it. No, I utilized it to check on the egg. So you broke into it. Hey, we're all friends, right? I don't think they'd mind. Just... maybe just don't mention it around any floaty gold people. Do you have access to surveillance all over Tarir? Back to the Leyline map! So this other point is... Huh, that's new. The Northern Bloodstone dot is flaring up. I'll have to keep an eye on that. The spot where Mordramoth died looks like it's cooling down a little. Yeah, a lot of that energy's been put back into the system. I'm trying to model its patterns, but this map isn't built for detailed readings. Yet. In the meantime, look at this. What is it? Not to toot my own warbler or anything, but I killed a chalk or two in my time alone here. Since the others don't know about this place, I couldn't ask to have defenses installed, so they pop up every once in a while when the lab's drawing a lot of power. Like those? Exactly! Get him! That sound makes my teeth ache! <laughs> Stop eating cookies in your lab. I think they smell the organ I harvested. Might be one of their kin. There's the power. More incoming. It ain't nap time yet.
exterminate. Don't worry about... Anyway, this thing is some sort of organ I found in one of the larger ones. It's part of their digestive system, and as you know, they feed on lay energy, so it got me curious. Any valuable findings yet? None I can explain right now. I ran some lay energy through it, and it came out different on the other side. Different? I'm not really sure how just yet. It was barely measurable with the equipment I have. I need to develop some other device to actually observe the phenomenon. What's that sludge you're keeping it in? Lighting pod fluid. Remember that stuff? It has wonderful preservative and even restorative properties. Fluid. From the blighting pots. The things that made horrible Mordrum abominations out of corpses. So you do remember it. Timey, do you think maybe that might be a bad idea? Uh, you worry too much. In research, there's no reward without risk. And if I'm gonna stay one step ahead of everyone outside this lab, I have to take a lot of risks. But one thing I can't risk is staying away from the main lab too long. It arouses suspicion. Let's go. All right, there's... You, you can explore the upper... upper platform. And then you can return to the main lab when you're ready. There's an achievement to listen to them all. Stand down. It's just Timey's friends again. General Soulkeeper, this is quite a surprise. What brings you to Rada Novus? You do, Commander. I've come here to offer you a new position within the Pact. The Marshal rank is, uh, vacant. And we want you to fill it. This is an honor. I'm glad you view it in that light. The Pact is hanging on by a thread. I see. I can tell you're having your doubts, so let me just be upfront about the role. Certain Pact elements feel like Marshal Traherne's mistake was going out into the field and getting himself killed. The new Marshal would be planted safely in an office in Lion's Arch, still leading the troops, but out of harm's way. As flattered as I am by your offer, I'm going to have to respectfully decline, General. After our Mordremont battle, I believe I, Ritlock, and the others would be more effective operating as our own guild. I understand the decision on your early retirement, although I'm disappointed. I still believe in the Pact's goal. I do too, and I'll always be ready to lend a hand. It'll just be outside the system. Out from under a mountain of paperwork, you mean? 
Laugh it up, no eyes. I have something for you, too. A letter from the Black Citadel. You must have really brushed some higher-ups the wrong way. Are you sure you want to just crumple that up and throw it away? Why not? It's what I did with the last two. What did I hear? You're not in the pact anymore? Wait, what do I call you? Booba? Uh, no. How about we just stick with Commander for now? Technically, it's a title for life, so you're welcome to it. Zero tolerance. What was that? That didn't sound good. Quick, let's go see what's happening. Protect the counselors! Run! It's a crazy Silvari! Wait! Get the dragon man Simon, away from me! Is that another one of your friends? What happened? I came in through the caves because I couldn't find the gate. I wasn't expecting such an enthusiastic welcome. Why the surprise visit? I'm here answering the call. But Mordremont's dead. We killed- Oh, it's not the jungle dragon's call. This time it's Anise's. Still holds your billet, eh? She does. But certain messy events have transpired, and I'm assured that if I clean them up, my billet will be released, and I'll once again be free from any yoke. How can I help? Minister Codicus recently <clears throat> left the Queen's protective custody. Anise sent me in a squad of Shining Blade to help the good minister find his way back to Divinity's Reach. Any idea on his whereabouts? There's been a flare-up of White Mantle activity in Northern Maguma, and intel points to him possibly heading there. That's the crazy magical hotspot we saw, up by the Bloodstone. I thought the minister claimed to not be in bed with those Mersat lovers. Didn't we all? Ritlock, get word to the others. Marjorie might be getting a little restless in Divinity's Reach, and want in on the action. Commander, if you like, you can hitch a ride on my airship. It's on our way, we can drop you off. Now that's an offer I can't turn down, General. Perfect. I'll grab my Shining Blade detachment and meet you there. You can talk to either Almora or Kanak. When you talk to Almora, you're going to get transported. But when you talk to Kanak, it's just a series of questions. It's an anomaly. Nova seems to have grown more alert. Very recently. Let's get underway. Commander's destination ahead. Looks like we're in for quite a ride. We're not flying into that scramble, are we? My gods, grow a backbone. Scared of a little weather? your feet. We survived. Somehow. Statistically speaking, this is rather rare. 